So this is simply the largest collection of retro games I've ever seen on a single device on my channel. We are talking 51,000 games across 60 different systems. Now, as you guys know, I have reviewed various different retro consoles, Pandora's boxes, Pandora's consoles, and other retro consoles just like that but I've never seen any unit come with a collection of 51,000 games. And a big shout out to Boutique Retro Gaming, who are the company that actually sells this unit, as well as a host of other retro gaming consoles. And I will leave a link to their website in the video description. So my bundle is the NES Pi 4 Retro Gaming Console. Now the bundle includes the NES Pi 4 case, which contains the actual Raspberry Pi 4. You get a micro SD card which contains the recall box software, which is the emulation front end. And this also contains one terabyte SSD, which has those 51,000 games. And one of the special things about this is I've never seen any other retro gaming console or retro gaming box, which has consoles like the Amiga, Atari ST, Amstrad and even MSX and MSX2. So a total of 60 emulation systems are included in this. You also get a single USB controller. Now the great thing about this is because it has built-in Bluetooth, you can easily pair up an Xbox One controller or a PS4 controller or really any Bluetooth controller that you have. Alternative, you can plug in any USB controller on the front. And this unit also comes with a four port USB hub, allowing you to have up to four USB controllers for those four player games. Let's have a close look at the unit. I and mean, this just feels really well built in the hand. And for the people that actually had the original Nintendo Entertainment System, including myself, this is more or less a perfect replica, including this guys. I mean, on the original console, you do this, you'll then slide in your cartridge, but here they've actually got the SSD drive. So, I mean, just a small touch like that with the SSD drive in a mini game cartridge. I mean, that just looks amazing. So that is your standard SSD drive there. Let's plug that back in. So this contains all of the games. And on this side, we can see we have that small micro SD card, which contains the operating system recall box. On the back here, we have two micro HDMI outs. We have audio jack out. We also have a USB type C power input, and it does come with the power adapter. And you also have a hardwired ethernet port, which I believe is gigabit. You also get this instructional manual, which is in French, but as I show you guys, the system is very, very easy to use. Okay, let's now power this up and let me show you exactly what the NES Pi 4 can do. And this is the home screen of Recall Box. And the very first thing you see is just how many systems are here, guys. I mean, we start with Commodore, Amiga 1200, then the 600, Amiga CD32, you got Amstrad, and when you look at each of the system, it tells you on the right hand side how many games are available for that system. So here, for example, we can see for this Amstrad uh, CPC computer, we have 3,208 games. So I think that's pretty much the whole library there. Then we have the Apple II, Apple II GS. Uh, we have the Atari 2600, the Atari 5200, the Atari 7800, Atari ST. I was personally always an Amiga guy, but in fact, do let me know in the comments below if any of you guys had the Atari ST or the Amiga or really any of these old retro uh, computers. Commodore 64, ColecoVision, Daphne, Dreamcast. You got Final Burn Alpha with 2,028 games. You got the Family Computer Disk System, Game Gear, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. I mean, really. You could just spend an age just going through all of these games here, even the Jaguar. I actually remember when that first came out and the big deal with that was the fact that we had a 64-bit home games console. We can see that manufactured in uh, or released in 1993 and we get 33 games with that. Uh, here we got some game framework. You got the Lynx Portable. Of course, you got MAME with 1900 games, uh, Mars System, Genesis. MSX, MSX2, N64 with 213 games. We got Naomi, Neo Geo System, Neo Geo CD, good old NES, Neo Geo Pocket, Pocket Color, uh, Odyssey, Open Ball, Auric. I mean, some of these, I have to be honest, guys, I have no idea what they are. Turbografx, PCFX, Pokemon Mini, PSP, PlayStation, I and mean, you got the 625 games for that. Genesis 32X, Sega CD, Super Nintendo. I'm missing some of these out because there's just so many. Vectrex, I remember that one. 
Virtual Boy, Wonder Swan, Sinclair ZX81 with 1,018 games, and then the Panasonic 3 Duo gaming system. Now to access the menu, if you press the start button, so here for example, you can go straight to the care application if you want to you know, watch some content or stream some content. Uh, let's go into system settings. Here we can just see that we're running version 7.11 reloaded of the recall box. We can see that we've used 95% of our one terabyte hard drive. Uh, let's go to controller settings. Say for example, if I want to pair up a controller, I can do that. Or if I want to readjust the inputs, like rebind these keys, I can also do that from here. Let's back out of that. Let's look at the UI settings. Say for example, we can turn a screensaver on and off. We can also adjust the theme here. So let's click on that for a second. Say for example, we're using the ES theme next pixel, uh, but I can also change that to, uh, let's try this one here. Click on close. Then with a couple of seconds, I should then reload the theme and we should then get a completely different looking layout. This one's actually quite nice. You get to see a picture of the exactly what the system or the console looked like. Uh, let's go back to that again. So let's go back into UI settings. I mean, let me just say right off the bat, the biggest benefit of getting a console like this is everything is already pre-configured. So all of these games, all of these systems, everything is already configured, already set. All I need to do is just decide which game I want to play. Now, a key part of that is if you go into the BIOS checking. Now, for the guys who have actually dabbled in retro systems themselves, then you know that certain consoles like PlayStation, like Dreamcast, they don't actually work properly until you supply a BIOS file. Now, you can typically find these BIOS files online, but just the headache of you know finding the correct BIOS file for all of the different systems, getting across into your unit, all of that headache has been taken care of with the Nest Pi 4 because if I go into this now, we can see guys, they've got all of the correct BIOSes needed for all of these consoles or systems like the Atari, uh, MSX family. So all of the files that are needed are already configured and ready to go. Guys, back out of that. Now the other thing you can do instead of going through a massive list of systems is you can press the R button to search. So let's press R. Okay, so let's say I want to play, uh, let's go for Streets of Rage. Yeah, S, STR, okay, we've got Streets of Rage there, so let's back out of this now. Here we see the Streets of Rage, and we can confirm that that's on the Sega Genesis, the Sega Mega Drive. And uh, let's go for Streets of Rage 3 on the Mega Drive. I'm now gonna click on that to launch it. This should now automatically open up the correct emulator, load that ROM file, and give us the option to play that. Uh, let's press start. And there we are, we are now playing Streets of Rage on the NES Pi 4 retro gaming console. Let's do a super move, uh, take that. And <laughs> that's working great. Now, whatever game you're playing, if you press the start and select buttons together, that'll exit the game and take you back into recall box. And we can now go through and play any of these other games. Uh, let me just take you through some of these old consoles. Uh, let's try some Commodore Amiga. And of course it has to be Sensible Soccer. And there is Sensible Soccer, okay. Let's start that up. Now, if I remember correctly, the key thing in this was just the curling you could do. So you'll take a shot with the ball, and then after you hit the ball, you could then do some serious uh, curls with that. So uh, let's see if I can remember how to do that. I mean, this was obviously played normally on a joystick. So you would fire, so you press the fire button and then spin that joystick. And there we are inside Sensible Soccer. Uh, let's do some sliding, all right. Let's see if I can get a, a quick goal. I mean, <laughs> it's been like many years since I played this. You can see guys, as in every time you take a shot, you can add a bit of after curl with that. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oof, <laughs> that's Sensible Soccer on the Amiga. So again, press start and select. Uh, let's try Atari ST. <laughs> James Pond, I remember this one. And this is me playing James Cod, emulating the Atari ST on this NES Pi 4 retro console. Okay, so I can uh, grab that food up there. Now let's try MSX, uh, bubble, bubble. All right, so let's, uh, I think you have to put the bubble on them and then you can pop them. Yep. And then pop. Let's get the last guy. Oh, he looks a bit angry. Take that. And that's working great. So that's some MSX emulation. Let's go for Spectrum. All right, I hope nobody's wearing headphones. Um, <laughs> is that gonna work? All right, so here is me emulating Spectrum. All 
All right, let's go up on this. Then this. Oh, God. All right, well, anyway, spectrum emulation. Working good. Uh, Atari, Ikari Warriors, okay, I remember this. All right, that's me with the headband. We're the bad guys. Ah, uh, take that. All right, those guys got some more powerful guns than me. Take that. And here we are playing classic R-Type. Uh, let's get some power-ups and let's hold this down. Uh, let's try the Jaguar. When I think with the most of the Pandora's boxes, they all have the standard Nintendo Mega Drive. But it's rare to see these kind of systems being uh, emulated. And uh, let's try this Protector Special Edition. So this is actually the first time ever that I've emulated the Jaguar console. All right, so not the most engaging game, but it's working fine. It does have some glitches with the audio, actually. I guess again, so press start and select together. And we're back into Regal Box. So uh, let's try with PSP. We have 544 games off that. And you can see, guys, pretty much every game that I select is just working straight away. So no need to mess about trying to find individual ROM files or trying to find BIOS files. Just uh, choose your game, choose your car, and I should be able to start playing that straight away. All right. All right, that's me racing. Let's get some money. A bit of nitro there. But that's working great, guys. So that's a PlayStation or PSP emulation on this NES Pi 4 retro gaming console. You can also mark your games as favorites by just pressing the Y button, which is one on the left here. So. Let's say for example, I only want to play, I want to mark Art of Fighting as a favorite, uh, two and three. You can see that the icon then changes. And uh, let's also get some Street Fighter in here. Uh, let's get some Super Psychics in here. So now for example, if I press the select button, you can see here, it only shows me my favorite games. So that's a great way you can filter out and just show your favorite games only. So uh, let's try the Street Fighter. Oh, take that, don't come back. <laughs> All right, let's get out of this. Okay, so wrapping this up, what are my closing thoughts on the NES Pi 4 retro gaming console from Boutique Retro Gaming? Well, in a nutshell, I am mega impressed with this package. I mean, just to have 51,000 games across those 60 different systems, all pre-configured, with all of the BIOS files, all of the settings, everything done for you, I think is just a phenomenal package. Now, obviously I have to say that you can buy your own Raspberry Pi 4, you can download your own version of Recall Box, but just that time to find all of the different ROMs, all of the different systems, configure them, find the BIOS files, get all of the artwork, all of that stuff, yes, you can do it, but here really you're paying for that convenience of somebody else doing it for you. And I just think it's a, uh, an amazing package guys. I did see some duplicates in the game so although it says 51,000 games I don't think it's actually 51,000 unique games so you may see some duplicates of certain games but really guys I think that's a, a minor issue. The big thing is just the fact that we get all of those games all configured and some of those real legacy systems like you know the Spectrums and the MSXs and the Clecovisions how else are you going to get a chance to play those games and with this unit all of that comes pre-configured for you. So I personally think this is a fantastic present and for anybody that likes retro gaming, they will absolutely love this guys. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Many thanks for watching. I will leave all of the links in the video description if you wanna check this console out. They do have lots of other systems on that website. So do take a look. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this system and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.